trussel back with Gwinnett lines in beautiful and very foggy Atlanta, Georgia. Today is February the 9th, 2020, and I've got a very special video that we're going to do today. We're going to be doing the very first modification on the Chevy LCF 4500, or if you want to call it the Azuzu NPR HD. All right, so this is what we are working on here today. We're gonna be putting a set of seat covers on this vehicle. And the easiest way to do this is going to be <clears throat> to remove the seat. Uh, I'm not going to remove the seat on this because, uh, well, <laughs> that's an extra step that I'm going to have to do. But you can slide this forward. We have plenty of room here. And I'm going to be putting some DuraFit seat covers. I'll put a link in Amazon. Uh, they're supposed to be really good seat covers. They make them for whatever vehicles that you have. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into this. All right, so obviously this seat is a single style seat and the seat over there is more of a double. So um, I'm pretty reasonably sure that um, the map pocket is going to go on the back of this seat. Now you have two choices with any seat installation, seat cover installation. You can either put the bottom on first or you can put the top on first. I usually will put the top on first and you can see how this goes. So we're just going to slip it over. Now I've had these sitting inside for a while so um, it's going to be a little easier to get them over. But just take your time with this. See if you guys can see that. There's a Velcro strip on the back. So if you try to just shove this under, it's going to get caught on the fabric. So I'm going to show you a trick that I use when I install seat covers. All right, so you, you can use several different things that I'm about to show you. You can use uh, a trash bag because we want something slick that I can push under the seat to get this to slide without touching the fabric. But my favorite thing is I like using just some packing paper. This was just a piece of packing paper that I had uh, from a box, actually probably from Amazon. And what you do is you just take this and just very gently, make sure not to use newspaper because it may get something on your seat. I'm gonna push this all the way through so I can grab it from the back, okay? There. Now I have a continuous piece of paper that goes all the way through to the back. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to try to feel, usually if the seat is straight up and down, if you can recline it, then you will be able to just tuck this under. And with your hand, very gently push this through. Okay, so once that's through, Pull this back out. We'll use that for the other side. Just make sure that you can grab the, uh, make sure everything's tucked in. Okay. Then if you want, you can fold the seat forward. And you'll be able to get a better grip on the underside. And I'll show you the, what the back looks like. All right, so here's where you may get a little frustrated. All right, what I'm doing is I'm taking my, I'm taking my uh, left hand and I'm running it down the front of the seat as I'm pulling more material up. Because what I want to do is I want to fold this over like this and then 
I'm going to fold the corresponding portion over right here. <clears throat> now it's not mating up. So if it doesn't, take both hands and just pull a little bit more up, fold it over, and then fold this down. And then you can just work your way down just like that. All right, next we're going to install the bottom. Let me pull this out just a little. All right, so usually on the bottom you're going to have some kind of securing strap. This one's got a, a Velcro strap and it's also got two, um, well, uh, plastic, I don't know what you call these plastic straps, but anyway, the um, just get it placed over kind of where it makes sense. And what we're going to do is we are going to push this flap right here underneath uh, what we just did, and then we'll take this front flap which has got this, we'll adjust this out right here and that'll go underneath the seat and then it'll attach. Now if you want to take this out of your vehicle, your seat out, uh, this part would be a little easier but it's really not necessary. And then this side piece right here we'll put uh, to the other side. Alright, so I have both of these uh, clipped in on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move the flap all the way down and I'm going to reach under the the front which you can't really see and I'm going to pull the adjustment see the adjustments right there Okay, that's going to tighten it up. I'm going to pull them both at the same time, but before I do that, I'm going to feed the side through, which is going to be a little harder. All right, so I finally got the um, side tightened up. It was catching on the edge of the track guard right there. So, you can't really see it, but it's all good now. And... It's good. So the the wrinkles will wear out or lay themselves out. So next, let's tackle the jump seat and passenger seat. This one's going to be a little more difficult. All right. So the back of the jump seat right here has got this piece. Uh, it's got the same Velcro attachment on the side here, so I believe what we'll do is just slide this over. Like this. And it has a cutout for our tray. All right, let me get you guys in a better position. I don't think you can see this. All right, so this portion right here is going to just slide all the way down. Now, if you were doing this in the summer, it would be a lot easier because it's this fabric is really cold. Good. All right. There All right, so let's get the uh, back of the passenger seat on. What's weird about this is the back of this passenger seat is not attached to the front cushion. It's actually attached to the cab. So I am going to remove this little 
shield right here. Uh, this is for, I guess, to keep debris and stuff from falling back there. And I'm just going to make this a little easier. No need to do the paper trick. Um, I'm just going to take this and fold that up there. There's just some... Uh, some clips yeah so there's just these baling clips and these plastic little uh well little tiny clips I don't know if I even have to take this whole thing off but I guess I'll do it so here's the clips there's three in the front and then two in the back and then the they're just little um just little wire clips that press down in there okay all right let's uh let's get the cover and put it on and we've got a cut out so this is the back cut out for the belts They fit really good. They're really I like I like the fit because it's really tight. <coughs> Clip part first. So I'm just gonna get everything loose and clip it in. Alright. So I'm gonna take the little bit of tension up. Now these pieces right here or the velcro part so I'm going to tighten this up take these velcro pieces I'm going to lay them out like that and just I'm going to pull on both of them at the same time and just lay it down like that so they're just a nice clean neat appearance yes yeah, see this I don't like so I've got one corner in and I'll put this corner in okay and then they should all be lined up. All right. So here we are. Um, again, this hole is a little too farther, too far over that way, so it's pushing this a little bit. There's nothing I can do about that. But anyway, so. Yeah, looks good. Okay, all right. And then this, there's a little lever here. This is uh, probably going to stay down most of the time. So, guys, there it is. There it is. Well, I hope this was um, interesting, if not entertaining. Again, this is a other than this part right here is it's a typical seat installation so hopefully the uh, little tricks i gave you about what order to do stuff in and all that will help you to install your seat covers on whatever vehicle that you are going to be installing them on and with that being said thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please do so and after after uh my hands are freaking freezing i'll edit this video and i will talk to you guys on the next video